Over time, an AutoCAD file can get dirty or bloated. What I mean by being dirty or bloated is that a lot of extra data or styles that aren't being used anymore are still in your file. It makes the file size larger. It could slow things down here and there. And in fact, a lot of times there are things inside our files that we never even use, but maybe they were brought in through a block or another file that we inserted or by reusing other files to start a new one. Now, this happens and it happens all the time. It can get in the way or even slow down the program because it has to remember all of these things while the file is opened. One of the biggest deals is the size of the files. If they're too big, then you're going to have trouble emailing them to others and they can take up too much room on your server or computer. So let's open up the architectural annotation scaling and multi-leaders file. Now one thing that you can do is to delete what you don't need anymore once your drawing is finished. So for example, let's say I make a drawing and I don't really need this view. I can select everything and erase it. Select everything that you don't need, of course. Keep the things that you do. Now once an object is deleted, there are still other sub-objects in there like layers, text styles, dimension styles, and things like that. Now, once those things aren't being used, they're still in the memory so that they're ready to be used again just in case you want to. Now, we can get rid of those items with what's called the purge command. It's real easy to get to. Just type in the word purge or type in the keyboard shortcut of just PU. That brings up this purge window. Now, it starts off here with two different options at the top unused items, meaning what you can purge out of the drawing and used items right here, meaning the items that you cannot purge. So these are all of the blocks that we're using, all the detailed views, dimension styles, etc. We can't get rid of these things because they're actually being used. I mean, somewhere in this line work, it's using these items. However, through this list, the, the items that you can purge, these are the things that are in the file that aren't being used. As you can see in this example, there really aren't very many, but there are some. So this is what you want to do. You want to select the purge nested items as well. A nested item is an item that's being used only by something else, but it's buried in there and you can't get rid of it until you get rid of the block or the style that's using it, even if you aren't using that block or that style. Otherwise, what's going to happen is you're going to have to come back and repurge and repurge and repurge again until there are no other items involved. This is the quickest way to do it. It gets rid of everything that's not being used, keeps going down the list until it finds everything that's not being used and it gets rid of it. Once you're ready, just click the purge all button. It'll ask you if you want to purge just this one item or do you want to purge everything in the list? I pick that and now you can see there's nothing left in here. And our file has been cleaned up. I'm going to undo that purge. I'm going to type in PU again. Now sometimes you want to just purge one item. Expand out your list, find that one item, select it, and click the purge button. Not the purge all, just the purge button. And then it will ask you, do you really want to do this, yes or no? Essentially it's purge this item or skip this item. Say purge this item. And now you can see these other items are still there. This allows you the option to specifically select a certain object that you need to get rid of. I know I'm not using that block anymore, so I'm going to get rid of it out of my file. Maybe that the line work in it is wrong, it's just bad for some reason, and you want to get rid of it. Now you can't purge an item if it's been inserted or is being used in your file. So remember that. If you can't find that block or layer on that items to be able to be purged list, that's because it's being used somewhere. You'll just have to find out where it is, delete every instance of it in your file, and then you can purge it. 